Hi. So now let us see in this functional dependency, uh, the next one. So that is types of functional dependencies actually. So what is that one? So what are different types of the functional dependencies? So simply it is, uh, one is a trivial functional dependency and the another one is non-trivial functional dependency actually. So these meanings are very simple. There is no big deal actually. So you can see trivial functional dependency. What does it mean? So if you have uh, FD A to B has trivial functional dependency, if B is subset of A actually, so that is what, so uh, B is completely subset are equal to A. So let us see with simple example. So A derives A. So this is what RHS part, simply you can say, RHS is always subset are equal to LHS. That's it. How and all you can see another example. A, B, C, LHS derives B, C. That is actually a trivial thing. You no need to say separately actually. So whatever attributes are there LHS side, if you have completely same attributes in the RHS are a part of that, then automatically it will derive. So that is, you no need to consider actually. That is why it is coming under the trivial functional dependence. Okay. And another regular example, if you take a employee ID, employee name, automatically derives employee ID or a employee name. So that is the reason all these are so simply RHS, if it is a subset are equal to LHS. So you can say that is trivial functional dependency. Then now you can understand what is non-trivial functional dependency. That is very simple. So you can see here, what is non-trivial functional dependency? So here A derives B, non-trivial functional dependency, when it will become, if B is not subset of A, that means their intersection part is phi. So that you can see here, for example, A derives B. Yes, you can see this is one attribute. This is another attribute, both of them not same. And ABC derives DC. Uh, actually, it is not uh, C actually. You can take some other attributes, E, okay, D, E, okay. Actually, uh, we can, we will eliminate these things also in the further discussion we will see when you are going for the closer, this kind of things actually. So that is what uh, even C, if C is there also, you can eliminate with other, whatever LHS side is there along with those, if you have any extra, that is only value. Like D is valid. C, you can skip actually. There is no uh, problem also if you delete actually. That is what uh, trivial things. By using some inference rules, we can change them also. So that is why, the, that is why you take uh, D, E here. And then next, if you see employee ID deriving employee name. So LHS part and RHS part is not same. So their intersection is five. So simply which FDs are coming under non-trivial LHS and RHS, their intersection is five. There is no common attributes. But in the trivial functional dependency, RHS is completely subset to LHS part actually. So in such cases, you can say that is trivial FD actually. Okay. So these are the two types of trivial functional dependency non-trivial functional dependence, okay.